The Democratic primary for New York's 14th Congressional District is shaping up to be one of the hottest races of 2020 as freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez attempts to defend her seat from multiple challengers. Ocasio-Cortez gained a global profile for her support of progressive ideas such as Medicare for All and the Green New Deal. But that profile has opened her up to criticism from all sides and could damage her re-election chances. The challenge for her is going to be convincing her district that she's looking out for them and not playing on a national stage. Voters, on the other hand, don't seem to think this is a problem. I don't think any other candidate appeals to me the same way that um, Ms. Cortez has. Her challengers, among them former CNBC anchor Michelle Caruso Cabero, say that Ocasio-Cortez does not reflect what's right for the district, that among other things, she leans too far to the left. She drives away jobs. She's divisive. She does everything only to increase her celebrity status. But experts and voters disagree. The other candidates, from what I've seen, are really just talking about how they're not her. And those constituents voted for AOC because she was promoting a more progressive agenda. And that's the reason they're gonna stay with her. Alexandria is fighting for progressive policies that can help create social, racial, and economic justices for all. The district has been dubbed the epicenter of the epicenter of the COVID-19 crisis with more than 19,000 coronavirus cases recorded at the end of April. What's more, many of the district's residents are frontline workers who are at greater risk to exposure to the virus. I, some, of us, some of us have to have no choice. We have to go out and work. If anything, it seems the left-leaning politics of AOC appeal to voters more than they did before, making it an uphill climb to unseat this popular congresswoman.